What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video the hot fix has arrived. Well, not in today's video, but I'm going to be covering the hot fix that arrived in this video. Yeah, that summed that up nicely. Anyways, to start this off, Bungie fixed an issue with the Ascendant materials no longer being a possible reward for daily gold tier public events. So now that little bug that kept happening is fixed, so that means the game runs more smoother and is always nice to hear. Also, in addition to other potential rewards, weekly nightfall strikes can now reward 9 or more strange coins. Now that would be one pleasant surprise. But what that means is, strange coins are now going to be more easier to obtain. So is that a good thing? Or can that be a bad thing? Now for all you PvP fans, new maps are now added to the rotation for Control, Clash, and Iron Banner. Which the Iron Banner will be hitting January 13th. Anyways, these maps that they added into the playlists are the Anomaly, Asylum, and the Burning Shrine. The Iron Banner now has playlist weapon drops of level 32 Sniper Rifle and level 32 Auto Rifle. And also gain event standing to earn legendary gear. Such as level 32 Hand Cannon now, level 32 Rocket Launcher, level 32 Gauntlets, and a level 31 Chest. So the Iron Banner is also coming with some new surprises as well, and I can't wait for that Iron Banner to hit. Now this is going to be some awesome news for you guys that have gotten hold of the Black Hammer and fully upgraded the Black Hammer, realizing that one of the perks canceled out the Black Hammer special perk, which if you guys don't know, if you get three criticals, you'll get the bullets back in the chamber. Well, if you got the High Breaker upgrade, that kind of canceled that out. But now the High Breaker upgrade has been disabled, until it is fixed to play nicely with the white nail upgrade. So who knows what they're going to be doing with this weapon. Hopefully it doesn't get really nerfed though because it seems like a pretty solid weapon. Anyways, in the Vault of Glass raid, but this is said by Bungie, it is still very infrequent, but you can get level 32 exotic weapon drops now. And lastly, but certainly not least, the Crota's in raid. There has been a lot of hot fixes in this one raid, and I'm about to cover them all. Starting off with a treasure chest, in the pit now contain radiant materials. The existing pit treasure chest reward has been moved to killing Uryut the Death Singer. So now when you open up the pit treasure chest, there's not going to be nothing special in it. They moved that special stuff that you used to get from the chest as a reward from Uryut, if that makes any more sense now. And as for the pit encounterment, pillars of light no longer launch players into the air when they explode, so you can no longer take that shortcut, guys. You will be having to run all the way through the Dark Labyrinth. And as for the bridge encounter, players will now be required to cross the bridge in order to complete the bridge encounter. So that means you will not be able to cheese this part. Sure, there might be some other cheeses that might, might work with this area, but for the most part, they seem to fix this area, because this next fix, players will now be required to wait for the bridge to be completed prior to crossing with the sword. So I'm not sure exactly how that is playing out because I haven't really tested it quite yet. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be like some kind of barrier or a countdown over there until you get the bridge fully completed. Or hey, you might even just die just how if you touch the bridge if it's not fully formed. And as for the Death Singer encounterment, they had fixed a rare case where the Shriekers would not spawn preventing players from reaching the Death Singer. And now the Death Singer once again has a chance to drop exotic weapons and armor, not to mention class pieces and radiant materials. All right, now for the Hive God himself. Two sword bearers will no longer be able to spawn at the same time at the outset of the encounterment. So that means this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to solo. But I would not doubt that people are still gonna be able to solo this somehow. But anyways, Crota will now recover from his kneeling state. A lot of people said that this would not be patched. There's no way that they could patch this because how could they? I'm sitting there just signing off the Xbox. What does that have to do anything with the game? But, yeah, they figured out a way to patch that. Also, they fixed a bug that allowed players to remove the presence of Crota using the Warlock's revive ability. Which, if the whole team got down, the Warlock would just revive while the presence of Crota was active. And then the presence of Crota would deactivate, and all the Warlock would have to do is just revive the teammates. And voila, you no longer have the presence of Crota. And neither does your team. And the last fix that they did in this hot fix is that they fixed a bug that made the Oversoul appear destroyed to some players in a fire team when it actually was still active. So that's some good news that they fixed that bug because that just means the raid's gonna run a little bit more smoother. But yeah guys, I just wanted to share with you these updates. They were released today and I'm bringing it to you today. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video guys. If the news was enjoyable, please remember to leave a like. It is much appreciated. But I'm out of here though. Thanks everyone for watching and most importantly, thank you all for your time.
Peace. I got it though.